caught up in that hurricane. A U.S. cargo ship and its crew of 33 last heard from on Thursday morning. The Coast Guard combing 30,000 square miles of open seas. And tonight, a grim breakthrough. They've discovered a huge field of debris. ABC's Lindsay Janice is in Miami with the Coast Guard and those clues. Tonight, a break in the search for the missing cargo ship, the Alfaro, carrying 33 crew and 28 Americans. A 225 square mile area of debris with what appears to be styrofoam, wood, cargo, and other items found. Earlier in the day, we were with the Coast Guard as crews discovered a container and oil sheen floating in the ocean. I'd say it looks like a 55 gallon drum. It is common for ships that are transiting through a storm or any type of heavy weather conditions to lose things off, off their deck, off their topside decks. And late Saturday, the Coast Guard pulling this life ring out of choppy waters. It's been four days since the El Faro went missing, right in the path of Hurricane Joaquin. The 790 foot vessel was traveling from Jacksonville, Florida, destined for Puerto Rico. The captain making a distress call near Crooked Island in the Bahamas Thursday morning, saying the ship had lost power, taken on water, and was listing 15 degrees in an area known as the Bermuda Triangle. A ship is very, is the most vulnerable when they are disabled, when they are without propulsion. Among those on board the ship, 46 year old Jeremy Ream from Pine Island, Florida, and Danielle Randolph, 34 years old from Maine. So I'm very hopeful. Until they find a, a reason for me not to be, I'm going to remain hopeful. Tom, as of sunset tonight, the Coast Guard has searched 70,000 square nautical miles of sea, and they'll be back at it at first light tomorrow.